It's a old IPMT question. Question is like this. If the kinetic energy of a body increases by 300 percent, what is the percentage change in the momentum? So first we shall know what's the relation between kinetic energy and momentum. We know kinetic energy is energy possessed by the body because of its motion. Its formula is half mv square. We also know momentum P is mass into velocity. Now I shall express this kinetic energy in terms of momentum. V square is there but only m is there. Therefore, let us multiply and divide Ke with mass m. Then kinetic energy becomes half m v square multiplied by, by mass divided by mass that is half m square v square by m multiply and divide with m. m square v square becomes p square by 2m. Thus the relation between kinetic energy and the momentum equal to k equal to p square by 2m. Here what we can say is mass of a body is constant. It is not variable at least in our problem. So relation between kinetic energy and momentum is kinetic energy is directly proportional to p square. Our momentum is directly proportional to square root of kinetic energy. So momentum 1 by momentum 2 is root of kinetic energy 1 by kinetic energy 2. If you call k1 as k, k2 is, he said kinetic energy is increased by 300 percent. K, original K, increased by further 300 percent, 300 percent of K. That is K plus 300 percent means 300 by 100. Anywhere percentage can be converted by dividing with 100. So, K plus 3K, that equal to 4K. So, first kinetic energy is K, second kinetic energy is 4K. That implies P1 by P2 equal to root of k by 4k, k, k can be cancelled, square root of 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 2. It implies final momentum is 2 times of initial momentum, but he is asking change in the momentum. So, p2 minus p1 is, p2 means 2p1 minus p1, that equal to p1. So, p2 minus p1 is p1 itself. He want a percentage change in the momentum. That means it is originally 100 percent, now it has become 200 percent. That means you can say P2 minus P1 by P1, which is called the fractional change in percent, is 1. Uh, percentage change in the fractional, uh, percentage change of the momentum equal to, to convert any number into percentage, we shall multiply with 100. That is 100 percent. I have done exactly reverse here. To convert a percentage into number, divide with 100. To convert number into percentage, multiply with that 100. That is that much basics. As the new momentum is 2 times than the initial momentum, it means it is increased by 100%. I have just proved that for you. So, it is a very simple question. You need to just have a basic understanding to solve this kind of problems. And if you get really this kind of questions, you, I can say you are lucky. So, that you will be able to do it easily without any stress. Thank you. Thank you for watching.